in this video we will be printing this pattern in greater than or equal to 3 base basic to advanced let's call it method 1 we'll be using the most basic one two loops one for the rows and one for the columns we'll be putting the values in just a minute let's write the loops first now you can see the outer loop is for the rows the values are changing from 1 to 5 so we are gonna make the loop from 1 to 6 that 6 is not inclusive the loop will run from 1 to 5 and the inner loop we have to get the relationship between the rows and the columns first row we have to print only once in the second row when i is equal to 2 we have to print two values in the third row we have to print three values fourth row we have to print four values when i is equal to four so you see the relationship the number of rows the number of the row is equal to how many times it will print in the columns okay so if we have i is equal to four it will print four times in the columns and that is four so we are going to print four here so you got the point we are going to print i here and the inner loop will go from one to i but i is not inclusive here so to include it we just add a one to it i plus one is not included so one less than i plus one is included so the loop will go from one to i so if we have four the value of i is four the loop will go from one to one less than four plus one five that is one less than five that is one two four the loop will go from one to four and four will be printed four times as the inner loop runs four times one two four okay one two three and four and if you want to give a space between the columns just type a comma and type and equals in the single quotes type a space and after execution of this loop because of end it will print the values of i in the same row so after execution of this loop we are printing one carriage return so that in the next iteration of value of i we get the print in the next row okay and now let's execute it and here you can see the required pattern now in the method 2 we are going to reduce the number of loops here we have two loops now we are going to use just a single loop to print this required pattern you should always try by yourself by pausing the video and try it yourself so as to learn by yourself otherwise you won't learn that much by just looking at the video and just skimming it over that's not gonna help you so let's print it by using one single loop let's start the value of i from 1 and we are going to use a while loop i will be going until 5 so less than 6 and we are going to use a print statement here and in the parenthesis let's use string formatting okay in the single quotes curly braces type i give a space after curly braces so that you have a space between each of the columns and now multiply it with i so when i is equal to 1 it will be printed once i is equal to 2 two times i is equal to 3 it will be printed three times and so on okay now increment the value of i by 1 and just execute it and you have the required pattern isn't it now in the third method let's use a string and the value of the string is 1 2 3 4 5 okay and just use a for loop for c in s c is the character in the string s okay and use a print statement here and in the print statement we are going to print c with a space all right and we have to multiply it by the value of the character in the string so this is a character we have to convert it into integer so we are going to use this int method here and pass the value of c in it so in here you can see 
one is converted into integer here and one is printed with a space one times after converting it into the integer similarly for 2 3 4 and 5 okay and let's execute it and here you see the required pattern all right in a more better method let's call it method 4 we can just convert this while loop into the for loop so that we have lesser number of lines for i in range 1 to 6 it will go from 1 to 5 1 less than 6 and use the print statement here okay and execute it and we have the right required pattern so we have reduced the four lines and two loops code into just two lines and a single loop isn't that better yes of course it is it has greatly increased the efficiency plus it has also decreased the size of the program please subscribe to support pyprotrix and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more